Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Selamat datang and welcome to the Apex CEO Dialogues 2020. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening from wherever you are. My name is Ruben Yanalingam. As chair of the Apex CEO Dialogues this year, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to a new version of the Apex CEO Summit. Apex Malaysia is very honored to host this event. We sincerely hope that all of you are safe and in good health during these challenging times. APEC is the most dynamic economic region in the world. It has a population of 2.6 billion people, a GDP of $19 trillion, and commands half of global trade. With a projected 2.7% contraction of APEC's GDP in 2020, the impact of COVID-19 also affects the rest of the world. Therefore, this year's theme of APEC Reimagined Priorities in the Aftermath of COVID-19 is both significant and timely. With the challenges of the ongoing pandemic, the summit this year will be delivered to you in a brand new virtual format. We would have loved to have you here to experience our multicultural heritage, visit the iconic Petronas Twin Towers, explore our beautiful rainforests, and venture a taste of our king of fruits. Nevertheless, we still hope to convey the warmth and hospitality of the Malaysian people, despite the digital space between us. There is some good news though. The unusual circumstances we face this year has given us the opportunity to host the most climate-friendly summit to date. In its original format, we estimate an in-person attendance of 2,000 participants, which would have generated 8,500 tons of CO2 emissions. Almost 400,000 trees would need to be planted to make the summit carbon neutral, translating to an average of 200 trees per participant. Moving forward, climate change and the preservation of our environment has to be a priority for us all. The goal is clean energy, clean oceans, less waste and less carbon. I truly hope that future APEC events place sustainability at the forefront of their goals as well. This year, APEC leaders, including those from the world's largest economies, will be sharing with us their challenges and priorities in navigating the way forward. A host of business and thought leaders will also enlighten us with their take on life in the new normal and the future of the digital economy. In between sessions, I encourage you to explore the APEC CEO's Dialogue 2020 microsite. Do visit the Sponsors Hall, where you can find out more about the exhibitions. Please also connect with other guests at our networking lounge. Without great partners and sponsors, this historic gathering would not be possible. Firstly, I would like to thank our knowledge partner, PricewaterhouseCoopers. A big thank you also to our six principal partners, CIMB, Facebook, Freeport McMorrin, Petronas, Sanofi, and Westports. Next up, I would like to thank our technology partner, Microsoft, and also our gold sponsors, Chevron, ExxonMobil, and FedEx. Last but not least, thank you to our media partners, Bloomberg, CGTN, CNBC, Financial Times, and Media Prima. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope these dialogues hosted by Malaysia will contribute to a common vision and purpose for the recovery and growth of all our economies. I hope you all have a fruitful and productive conference. Thank you. I now have the pleasure of handing you over to Dato Rohana Mahmud, ABEC Chair 2020. Thank you very much, Ruben. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And warm greetings to all of you from Kuala Lumpur. I'm delighted to join my colleague, Dato Ruben, in warmly welcoming APEC leaders, business leaders, and the broader APEC community to this first ever virtual APEC CEO dialogues. Times of challenge are also times of opportunity. In this time of severe disruption to our lives and livelihoods caused by the global pandemic, the APEC Business Advisory Council, ABEC, comprising business leaders from across the region, worked resolutely on a shared vision and blueprint for APEC leaders towards economic recovery and resilience based on integration innovation and inclusion. In this time of lockdowns and restricted travel, ABEC Malaysia, working with our strategic partners, pioneered this first ever virtual APEC CEO dialogues to engage a record number of APEC leaders, business leaders, and the broader APEC community 
on how we can together reimagine APEC, rethink our priorities, and co-create a better future. In this time when decisive leadership is so needed, ABEC Malaysia is deeply encouraged by the overwhelmingly positive responses we have received from the Malaysian government, APEC leaders, senior officials, business leaders, and the broader APEC community to this APEC CEO dialogues. On behalf of ABEC Malaysia, I convey special thanks to APEC leaders for the opportunity of making this first ever virtual APEC CEO dialogues possible. Thank you. Trimakasi.